you know, we got a lot of new faces, so it's going to be a very interesting uh, uh, early season. We're going to get a chance to look at a lot of players. And how different is it this year? You know, last year you had so many guys coming back and the expectations were so high. How different is it this year with so many new faces and having to fill so many key roles? Well, you know, I, when you have that security of putting the lineup in and it's Peterson, Conforto, Davis, Kais for three years, you know, uh, you really, those guys came in here and played and they played for a long time. And, uh, you know, the one thing about that is that uh, we don't have a lot of experience coming back. Those guys were pretty special players. Um, and the people that we lost um, have, have had a huge impact on our program. I thought that we were as good as anybody in the country last year. Obviously, didn't finish the way we wanted to finish. That was disappointing. And uh, you know, we got to we we really have a young club. And I think this is probably the last time that I'm going to allow myself to talk about that because I think that that's a pretty good excuse. And so, I've told our players that that's not going to be something that we're going to hang our hat on, and that uh, we'll be young in the fall, and then there'll be no more. Excuses. We are what we are, and that is we've got a lot of first-year players, and, and they're going to play. And so uh, people like Andrew Moore and Jeffrey Hendricks, uh, those guys are really, really going to have to provide us with some leadership. Along those lines, Pat, it just seemed peculiar when I looked at the rankings and stuff. Yeah, first Oregon State, you're always up there. Does any of that even matter? You know, because I know like even the 2017, I think the end of the year probably wasn't ranked. Won a national championship. So, do you put any stock in any of that preseason stuff? Well, I mean, it's not not from the standpoint of how I think we're going to play, but we certainly, if you look at who we lost and who we uh, who we're going to play, um, I you know I understand us not being ranked in the top twenty five. I certainly do. We'd like to change that, and you know that's going to be up to the players and the coaching staff to do everything we can to become a better club than we were in the fall and uh, be a better club next. Uh, Thursday than we are this Thursday. Uh, but a uh, kid from South Salem High School, anything about Sam Tweed, what can you say about him? Sam's going to be real good. You know, there was a kid uh, that we had, he reminds me of B.R. Cook a little bit from Sprague uh, uh, back a while ago. I mean, it's been a while, 10, 12, 15 years ago. Crazy. But uh, Sam's good, pitched well in the fall for us. He's got good stuff. Here again, you're talking about throwing a high school arm into the pack and, and um, you know, he's going to He's going to have to really be able to handle good hitters hitting good pitches and uh, not going to be able to just feel like I can get away with mistakes. But there's a lot of freshman arms that have thrown, and um, you know we, we, we have to have those guys um, grow up in a hurry for us to be successful. Who are, who are some of the returning guys who maybe haven't had uh, big roles last year or the year before who you think can really uh, take on some of the leadership roles? Well, like I said, Timo and, and – um, uh, or Amo and, and uh, Jeffrey Hendricks. There's no reason Logan Ice. You know, you, you, sometimes your position dictates what you do. Trevor Morrison's going to have to have a bigger voice. Caleb Hamilton will definitely, definitely be a guy that'll help lead us. There's no question about that. Caleb Hamilton will have no issue uh, with with being a guy that will be comfortable in a leadership role. And uh, you're a much better leader when you're on the field. You know, and so he needs to play for us, and he needs to find a way to do that. I heard, uh, you know, uh, Jenks talking the other day to our infielders, and you know, like he said, he said, you know, Trevor Morris is going to start start a shortstop. The rest of you guys, we need to figure that out. And so it's kind of like that, you know, in, in the outfield right now. You know, Jeffrey Hendricks is going to start in center field. The rest of you guys, you need to figure that out. Um, so. That, that to, to be honest with you, I don't know how many years I've coached. That what is this? My 28th year coaching. I don't know if I've ever been in a position where I can't tell you three weeks before the series how few guys I can tell you are going to start, position wise, um, and that's a little bit concerning, but it's also a little bit exciting. You know, um, it's a challenge, and um, it's a recipe. Like I told them today, you know. It can be the recipe for disaster, or it can be the recipe for a perfect storm. You know, we'll just figure out um, how she goes.